What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Beers for Build. In today's episode, we're working on Oscar's Mustang. We got some new parts in. We're gonna make sure that the car is running right because it was running really rough the last time we were working on it. So we got some new parts we think are gonna fix that problem. And then we're gonna start going to work on the body, getting it to look you know, more like the classic Mustang. We're gonna install the cowl, hood, fenders, front bumper, start working on that front end stuff. Stay tuned. It's a gloomy day out here in Oregon today, but we're gonna do our best. So, uh, first part that we got in, well, we're gonna do two parts at once because they're not really overlapping here. This jerry-rigged intake, I don't have a lot of faith in it. I think it was causing all of our problems and we had ordered another intake multiple days ago. So luckily it has arrived now. So we got an intake built for this 5.0 Mustang. The other thing we got is one of these because we had a small crack in this little reservoir from the accident. Small little crack, slowly leaking. We're gonna go ahead and replace that. So Austin's gonna go ahead and jump in here, install the new air intake, uh, replace that, and then we'll fire her back up and see how she's running. All right, Oscar got his air intake installed. Now we may relocate this if it's a problem with the classic fender. We're not really sure if it's gonna be or not, but it's obviously easy to trim this up and shrink it down, so. But it's time to fire it up. Go ahead and fire it up, Oscar. Let's see. That's a definite, didn't fix the problem. At first it sounded really bad, but then it started to sound a lot better. So we're thinking maybe it was just kind of learning the intake. Uh, we're gonna have uh, Oscar go for a ride up and down the street and just see how it does. It's really low on fuel, so you might have to push me back. I'm not pushing you back. I will go buy you more fuel, but I'm not pushing you back. Oh, we don't have a way to fill the fuel yet. I mean, it's there, there's just no hole. <laughs> okay, I'll get a hole saw and some gasoline. <laughs> She's back and not running great. I got an idea though. Let's unplug the rear O2s. Uh. Okay, so she's still not running really great. I think what, uh, so Oscar has the rear O2s plugged in, but they're just dangling. I think we should unplug them and I think it'll run better. O2 sensors have been unplugged, the rear O2, so the front ones are primarily what the car normally uses, but I think the rear one's being plugged in, we're throwing it off, so we'll see how this goes. So far it sounds a little bit better, but it could be a fluke. So you're saying that was way better? That was way better. It's running, it's idling, it's doing good. It's doing good? Okay. So it, obviously we can't run without the rear uh, fuel sensors or the O2 sensors on there, but we found our problem. So now we'll develop some exhaust solutions, actually install those things, and we'll be in a much, much better place. Yep. Once we have our exhaust, it's good to run. Cool. Yay. Now we can work on the body stuff. All right, now that we figured out why the car wasn't running well, we're gonna start working on building the rest of the body out. So the first thing that we gotta do is install the doors because the doors start to set the body line. Since we have that body line and that body line, the door will run the rest of the body line. And then we could figure out where the fender goes as far as height and angles in, in out ways like that. So we gotta get the doors installed.
All right, doors are on, looking good, fitting up nicely. Uh, we kind of are using a little clamp here because we don't have the door strikers. Remember, we originally bought this as a parts car, and that was one of the parts that ended up on the other Mustang, and, well, that one's gone forever. So uh, we got some clamps there for now, and we've ordered uh, a new door striker set. Now that we got the doors on, we can go ahead and start to set the fender. There's a lot of trimming out from the fender that needs to be done, and this fender is different than the last one that we work with because it has a different headlight bucket. So start kind of trimming down the fender, making it a little bit lighter weight and getting it able to be mounted in here. Oscar got the fender on there. It's really starting to look like a car now. Like this thing really looks like a classic Mustang now. It's crazy. So he's got the fender on there. It's time to start building mounts. He's gonna build a couple mounts for up top and down here and off of the bash bar. Actually, hold that thought. Uh, before we build some more mounts, what we need to do is trim the other fender and then test fit the hood. That way the hood will show us what our width needs to be when we come all the way out here out front. And then we build mounts. We made this mistake last time. So rather than measuring the hood, we're just gonna slap the hood on there. So before we do that, gotta go ahead and trim another fender up. Get it placed on. Got the second fender on here. It's starting to look like a car. It's scary awesome. Super happy about this. So now we're gonna go ahead and test fit the hood. We'll throw the hood on here. That'll tell us our measurements and then Oscar and I can start building some brackets, get some brackets welded in here and then that will uh, fit the fenders. This is so cool. It is very quickly evolving and looking like a car. We're super jazzed on it. I was really hoping Oscar was gonna have to cut a hole in the middle of this hood, because it did not look like it was gonna clear. No, not at all. At all. <laughs> but so far, it does look like it's gonna clear. Things are a little sketchy on this side over here, but that's because we don't have as many mounts right now for the fender. We don't have any mounts. <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of balancing on the car. But as we put things together, it like fits up better than our other Mustang, which is kind of sad. <laughs> well, they're all like real body pieces. They're not fiberglass. That's true, no fiberglass, no reproduction pieces either. These were all together on a car at one point. So, um, yeah, it's, 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 whoa. <laughs> yep, it's really on there though. Uh, okay, so now we can use the hood as our width measurement. We can set our width, we can work with our fenders, and, uh, oh man, should we try and bolt on the lower bumper piece to really set our fenders? Because remember on the last build, we had this problem with figuring out the in, in, inner width yeah. right here so you can you can just take a fender and if you just push it it's like oh that's off by a half an inch or an extra inch or whatever but then if we have that lower bumper right there it'll help set that so maybe we should trim these guys take that lower bumper trim these guys or we could even just use the grill yeah let's use the grill yeah. grill or the bumper we'll find one of the two and then we will um because it, it has the bolt holes right here and right here and that'll help set our exact width on the bottom. We'll use the hood to set our width on the top and then we'll build our mounts for the fenders and that will kind of set the uh, foundation for how everything else goes. This is looking so cool, I'm so excited. We bolted in the centerpiece and then we went ahead and welded a structural support in the front that matches the hood width. Now Oscar's gonna go ahead and start fabricating mounts. We're gonna come off this spot right here. That's where Ford does it by factory. And then we're gonna start keying into some other places as well.
Oscar just wrapped up the first of the different, the first of multiple different fender mounts, and these are pretty cool. So it's a piece of flat bar angled to match the fender over to here to a really st uh, sturdy three quarter inch bar, um, and that comes down to the frame. So this is all permanent, doesn't come off, and that helps hold the fender up on both of those sides. And now, so for the next part, Oscar's gonna be building something that comes off of here and maybe even here and bolts onto here to just kind of finalize the different, the fender mounting and make it really, really strong up front there. And then obviously we have our mounts in the back underneath on the fenders, like down here. We have one mount down here and we'll have one mount down there. And those are really easy. They're just pretty much basic tabs. So you don't have to build something out, out in outer space. Really starting to look a lot more like a car. Oscar's got a bunch of stuff added on to here. So first he started with building these mounts right here. There's some heavy duty mounts that mount this thing to the, uh, I don't know, front bolt on spot. Then we made the trim to be able to build a bash bar in there. And then uh, went ahead and attached the lower front bumper in here. And then this is just hanging here, right? Cause we don't have the mounts for it. We're gonna probably, I think we have another one of these used laying around. It's in a little bit of better quality as well. Uh, later on in the design, Oscar's gonna build a piece that comes down here so you won't see any like OEM 2016 Mustang stuff. There's gonna be a piece that comes down here, kind of helps add lowering look to it. And then also the car will be lowered as well. So don't worry about any of that stuff you see. Nothing behind the curtain. Don't pay attention to that. So uh, this is looking really, really good and is nice and sturdy. Next, Oscar's gonna come in here and build some more supports back here here and right over there build a support right there and that should be it for mounting these fenders or close to it <laughs> yeah the, the side ones right here okay so we're getting close almost done mounting the fenders hardest part All right, Oscar wrapped up this fender support over here and a little baby one over here. It's time to go ahead and pull these fenders off and fully weld everything out. Got all the mounts welded in here and uh, I went ahead and put a fresh coat of paint because the last thing you want on a rusty apocalypse car is rust. I just realized how awesome this tool is. Shout out to Astro Pneumatic. I'm gonna put a link in the description. We got this tool maybe a year and a half ago. I never really put it to use and Oscar's been using it a lot. It made installing these rib nuts like extremely, extremely easy. Yep. And uh, it just attaches to the end of your drill and then you just like kind of drill and sink them in. Yep, just hold it. That's super awesome. Thanks Astro Pneumatic. You guys have always had our back. They've been helping us out with these th like, type of things for years. Next up, Kyle is gonna start working on finishing out this cowl. This is the cowl and we cut it off or we're gonna re-weld it back in. But these cars have venting right here that allows water to drain in and we can't have the water draining in right there on our classic Mustang because or our modern because it would come in here where the car's not wanting to accept water. It will accept water in this whole section right here. So if you guys remember the last Mustang project, what we're gonna do is build some 
block offs basically they go from underneath this and they ramp down and they slant downward and what that'll do is if any water comes in here it'll dribble like through there underneath down and into that catch pan where it belongs and uh, it'll be all good. Kyle just finished up kind of this uh, this drip catcher or rain rain catcher 5000 anyways so you can see that he built this nice metal structure right here tack welded it all together and then seam sealed it all around so now any water that goes through the cowl will land in this thing and drop down right into where we want it so now we're about ready to get the cowl into the car but there is one more thing that we got to waterproof so the cowl comes up right here and then there's a little gap and we obviously don't want any rain water coming in here and into the car or through here and into the car so Kyle's gonna build two more pieces of metal that kind of sneak in here behind, underneath the cowl, behind the cowl, and they have little railings on the sides. And what that's gonna do is any water that comes in through here also just directs it down to here. So he's gotta build one for this side over here and one for that side over there. All right, and with that wonderful paint job, the cowl is officially installed. This is the first piece on this Mustang that we ever did further than the last Mustang, which is pretty cool. You know where to trim? Oscar knows where to trim. Ladies and gentlemen, next thing Oscar's gonna be doing is installing the bash bar, AKA front bumper replacement, AKA crumple zone. Who cares? I don't know. Normally these are detachable, but we have opted to not detach it because we are builders, and if anything goes wrong, we can just rebuild it. Right, if this was a customer car, which we've never built one of those ever, and we never will, we wouldn't build it this way. But because it's an apocalypse car, we're having some fun. Uh, Oscar found this in the scrap pile. This was a mistake that we made. Do you know which car we mistaked this one on? Mm, probably practice, Ben. Anyways, this was a mistake piece from another build, and all Oscar's gotta do is trim this down, and then the front bumper will fit around it, so pretty easy decision. Trim it down, weld it in, get the bumper on there. Time to go ahead and throw the front end stuff back on. Let's see how it looks. Turns out these light holes hit the bash bar. Oscar, being Oscar's car, with Oscar's security in mind, has decided to trim the bash bar. Yeah. Yeah. Safety first. Got it. Let's do it. That looks phenomenal. The front end is on the Mustang. This is so cool, man. So the, the speed in which this is coming together is amazing. So the hood is obviously just resting on here. We got some, uh, we're gonna do a latch in the front, locking hood pins in the back. Little known fact, classic Mustangs didn't really have a locking front latch as far as we know. So we're gonna have locking hood pins in the back so y'all can't steal the hood. But if you wanna steal what's inside the car, just use a screwdriver to get in the back. It's all Oscar stuff, I don't really care anyway. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> This is really awesome. This is really coming together very well. That front bumper, we might re uh, replace it with a little bit straighter one, and uh, we need some bracketry to officially mount that as well. And like I said, Oscar's gonna build a front valance that comes down from here, kind of angles down, and just kind of adds a little bit of like more lowering effect to kind of match up with that side skirt rail so it'll all kind of look even, and it's gonna look really, really awesome. And we got some side skirts to show you guys. Oh man, it's all gonna come together so well. But the front end is officially mounted up. 
Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thanks so much for watching all the way to the end. I do appreciate it. If you guys are fans of BS for Build and you want some merch, head over to bsforbuild.com and here's a code right here for our 4th of July sale. So if you're watching this live, that's 20% off all of our merch. So go check it out. Get yourself some stuff 20% off. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Peace! Come, come, come.